Hello, Thomas here. I want to make this video about the eFloat E3 Nitro. Um, at this point, this bike is about three to five years old, and if you don't use it all the time, you're probably going to run into the problem of, you know, a dead battery. So, you know, right now this company is out of business, so the only way to rebuild the battery is, you know, spending five, six hundred dollars on some website to buy a replacement. And, you know, rather than spending that much money on a bike this old, I decided to just crack it open to see if I can, you know, figure out how to fix it. So today I want to show you a video on how to, you know, fix that battery and how to give it a, you know, give it a boost. You might or might not be able to revive it. So, you know, we'll take a look. So to start, we're just going to remove the battery, which I already did here. This is the battery. You know, you take out the seat and um, there are four things you need to do. You need to remove these four screws at the top and then there are a couple of sc four screws on the bottom that you got to remove here it's showing you uh, right now it's charging because i had just fixed it and i'm charging it to make sure that it works so once you once you crank these open all you have to do is keep tapping with a hammer and eventually this whole unit will come off and you know the battery will be wrapped in this little thing here and the best way to test the battery is to take a um take a voltmeter or multimeter and test the voltage on these. If your bike doesn't turn on, chances are that is because of low voltage and, you know, because of the BMS on these, you know, you know on this setup. So to test it, all you have to do is put the positive lead here, negative here, and check to see what the voltage is. And, you know, usually you'll get, I don't know what the exact voltage is, but if you actually go below 30 volt or so, I just don't think these will charge. When mine broke, I think I was at eight volt because um I simply didn't charge it because I wasn't riding the bike, and you know I just forgot to plug it in and didn't do any maintenance, so that was my fault. But you know these are the Samsung eighteen six fifty batteries, so they're supposed to last quite a while. And you know, like I said, you know test the voltage. If the voltage is too low, that means you got to give it a boost. And you know to give it a boost, this is what I use. You know this fifty six volt uh, battery. You know called ego you know another lithium ion battery you know it's 56 volts so it's enough to jump this battery so you know before i start i'm just gonna say you know you're still playing with batteries so it's very dangerous so you know take it at your own risk and you know just make sure you don't get anything cross so to do this you know what you can do is put a you know I would take a little, you know, thick little cable like this one. You can get it at Home Depot or get it at any parts store, you know. You're simply giving a boost. So all you have to do is stick the little, you know, stick a wire here, put it in the plus, positive, you know, and then that, the other end of the wire is going to go there, okay? The negative wire is going to go here. And then we're going to cross it into here. Like I said, just, you know, simply put the two wires in and then, you know, holding the other way. You know, simply just, you know, match the positive with the positive, negative with the negative. And you don't want to tap it for too long. All you want to do is tap it for five seconds at a time. So I would, what I would do is tap it for five seconds. You know, both leads, tap it for five seconds. Use the voltmeter, check it. And you want to get it to a point where you get to about 35 volt. Once you get to 35 volt, the battery charger should start charging it. So, you know... You know, I did that and I was able to get mine to charge. You can see now it went from five volts, you know, into, you know, 35. And then I was simply able to charge it and then to put it back, simply put the sleeve back in place and you should be good to go. So anyway, this is how you rebuild or at least give your battery pack a little jump and see if this will hold a charge. And, you know, if this does work, I would recommend leaving the battery charge all the time because lithium ion battery does like to be charged. So just simply left on the charger and, you know take the little loss in electricity to keep the battery safe all right on to the next video if you have any questions you know feel free to send me a message and you know i'll probably be providing more videos you know about random stuff so you know keep subscribing and you know we'll keep talking about random stuff okay bye